Hello everybody, it is Kevin Ho and we are here at 324 Baden, or Baden, depending on how you uh, describe it. We're just above Monterey, well actually, above Monterey, which is there. Juiced is over here and there are these pair of beautiful homes. Uh, I love how they use tile out here. They've redone it. They had a cool art, art deco uh, facade over here. You've got the little green space where you can walk your dogs. Oh, look at that one. Wow. So the thing about Sunnyside, which is where we're at now, is that the homes were typically developed in the 40s, 30s, and the such. And you got some neat architectural detailing here. But you've also got, well, you know, their typical... Oh, look at that one. That's really cool. But you have your typical... Uh, junior five location and sort of layouts. So the fun part is to see how people have taken their homes and buried it. This is the case here at 324. The cellars are really in close proximity and they uh, restored this and made it their own. And uh, they live nearby because they have a really identical house that they really uh, took all the lessons they learned here and applied. So you first come in, you'll notice new concrete in front. I like the um, pavers that they've done next door. You've got your sewer lateral here and the pipe is covered. And first, when you come in, you notice nice hand railing. And you've also noticed this tile used outside. You wouldn't think it'd be the right one, but it is because it's not the smoothest, but it gives you enough grip. But of course, it's a natural uh, material. Step lights here. And then your big view down towards City College over there, Ocean Avenue, you're close to uh, 280. Uh, you'll notice a little tile detail up there and new flashing, all that good stuff. Let's go in. So this is our friend Kate Tomasi at Compass and she'll be boisterous and happy to see us. So let's take a look here. So when you first close the door, listen to that. So let's go past here and we'll go in here. So take a look back here. This is nice and open. We'll go outside first so you can see the backyard. Let them finish their conversation. Love that too. But take a look at this. So back here, neighbors have a really cool yard. Your yard is flat, which is pretty nice. You've got this nice set of stairs coming out here. You've got the Trex decking, nice metal handrail. They could have, actually they did a great job of it. Instead of having the one with the stainless steel or even wood ones, they did a nice metal one, good artificial turf. Raffi would care. Uh, the sellers apparently have a black Labrador retriever, so they are good people to say the least. Actually, the man inside has a black lab too. So this is nice. Take a look here. They did this retaining wall. It's new, looks pretty new to me. And they've done a nice dig out here. So everything was done with permits. You've got a nice drain system. So they thought about it. There are certain houses where they don't think about it and you've got issues. So you've got all this pressure treated wood under here. You've got nice bracketing. You've got your base columns. They've even wrapped this so it's not as harsh. Uh, really nicely done. Let's actually, you know what? If we can, ah, let's go in. Ah, you're still talking upstairs. So what we really like, what I like about this home is that you've got the warmer tones here. You've got new floors, you've got beautiful doors. This is a bonus room. It's three bedrooms and this bonus room here. But you've got this really lovely stain, which harkens back to the Art Deco period and the gum wood that this home would have had originally. Uh, you've got a, ooh, what's this? Ooh, is this a signed one? Oh, it is. So you can open that up. It's a signed thing. This one too? Hmm, this one too, let's see. Look at that. Oh, that is really neat. Gosh. All right, I feel like a country pumpkin, but that is really cool. Talk about a really good compromise. Huh. Well, learn something new every day. So let's see how tall the ceiling height is down here. This is the primary. Let me do this. No, not that. Okay, good. We've got eight feet, a little over eight feet, eight feet and three quarters. So eight, and eight foot one thereabouts. Better than seven foot six tall doors here. This is an ensuite. Ooh, nice walk-in closet. And then, oh, really nicely done. Look at that. I like that a lot. So there's no, there are no windows in this bathroom, but they did a good job. You've got the hex tile down here. That is a clean out in case your toilet ever needs anything. And you've got nice vanity. I do like this. They've done a, they've done this accent metal. I think it's like a 
the pop, the coil rub bronze with gold detailing, and you've got this nice variety of pole, oh, good poles too. And I don't know what that's for. It must be for something. Can't figure it out right now. Same thing in light motif here, and then you've got your niche, your cool shower tile, and ooh, nice space for it as well. Good choice on the cover plates here. We are always advocates for these screwless types. So coming out from this ensuite, so you're coming down the stairs, which we'll see. You've got this closet, and the closet this is to your garage. So, hang on, man. He really likes the place. So up here, you've got your internet hub to outlet. So they already know what's going on up there. You've got plug-in for your charger and you've got various timers, whatnot, and this home has air conditioning. Yes, it does. So you've got air conditioning, you HVAC, it even has the booster fan, wow. It's really rare that you see somebody actually follow all the things you're supposed to do. So that's pretty amazing. Nice water supply, tankless water heater comes in, good brass, uh, copper, sorry, copper water supply here, your uh, tankless water heater, so when you turn it on, it'll, uh, flash fire and send the water throughout. Uh, that's very nice. Most gas appliances are still gas appliances here. Most appliances are still gas ones here. The electrical costs haven't come down enough, I think, to make it too worthwhile yet. Uh, the drainage, so the drainage comes up here. You're on a hill because the hill comes on this way. Water goes this way, so it's nice to have that. Your garage depth, let's see. Mm -hmm. Approximately 18 feet, drops off in the front a little bit, but nicely done, all sealed up, and you've got a nice garage door opener, and then of course the AC, which is key. You wouldn't think it, but in this neighborhood, even in this neighborhood, you might want AC, but you have it in this case, so it's up to you to use it. So coming in here, this is mostly your daily experience. You have a nice area to put your stuff down, then you go upstairs there, you have a little nook under there. Back over here is the laundry, the back side of those machines that we were just looking at there. And in here, you've got similar finishes. I like the vertical tile. We've done, actually, we've used this tile before, and I think we've done a really similar layout. Enter the tile, nice tub, Duravit tub, and that is probably from East Star. Most of the tubs in the city are from uh, East Star as well, and Duravit. In here, you've got the next bedroom or room? Bedroom, I think, a room. I think just a room. Wow. That one. So nice closet, smaller in here, but still a good sized. And then coming through, we're back to the this one. And yes, that's right. So the three bedrooms upstairs, and these are your bonus rooms. This could be your work from home office. Oh, I think this could be your walk-in closet, apart from that one. So that one could be for the person who has less clothes. This one for the person who has more, put a little dressing thing there, some mirrors. Pretty, pretty cool. So let's go upstairs and we'll visit Kate. We'll visit with Kate up here. So coming up the stairs, I like the stair lights here, again with the metal handrail. And then coming up here, you notice the big, broad expanse you get when you come in. Hi Kate, how are you? Hi Kate. Hi. Sorry, we, went, we came in downstairs because you were talking with the man. So, but this is a great home. Uh, tell Thank us about you. it in a nutshell. It's a complete remodel, 1937, mm -hmm. um, but was in disrepair when my clients bought it in 2020. So every everything is new, everything right. down to every system, every wall, um, a new floor plan that actually works better for most families now than a 1937 yeah. floor plan. Um, and it even has air conditioning. I saw downstairs, I was like, and they have a booster fan for the dryer. I know it sounds geeky, but it's like, oh wow, they actually thought of that, you yes, know? Yes, yes. Because every, like every inspection report we read, they always say, and you need a booster and fan. You need a, and nobody has one. And they did it. I like how they also added the pot filler above. I love the pot filler. Oh my gosh, you, people are like, why would you have that? And once you have it, you understand why you would well, never makes, go back. Makes me want to have a lobster bag. Or po well, that's pasta, lobster bake too. And then I like the sink here, nice countertop. You've got the cool backsplash. You've got the LED under cabinet lights. And then this, ooh, even the windows. Oh, I like that window downstairs, the French doors with the yes. side uh, panels. Yes. Isn't that nice, those sides? It's so nice. It's a nice and great views at night. 
Oh yeah, imagine the twinkling. Now, but great views at night. When it's twinkling at night? That'd be kind of amazing too. What is that noise? Is that me? Is that no. someone being towed? Huh. I think it's just a truck. A truck, all right. Oh, wine fridge down here. Microwave up here. Soft closed drawers. Good tile again. Nice big refrigerator. And then you've also got your ice maker and your water. And then as Kate and I were talking about, this is not the typical French oak white, but it's a broader, warmer oak feel with a honey colored. That really tracks well with the uh, traditional finishes. Uh, one more thing I forgot to tell you. This is the front bedroom. This will be a splice somewhere in the video. Really nicely sized. Good tall ceiling heights. Let me give you a ceiling height for this floor too. I forgot we did not do this. Ceiling height is? Eight foot four on this level. So that's very nice. And let's see how long it is. We've got 11 feet, hopefully. I think this is part be 12 feet or more. 13 and a half feet. That's really nice. All right. Well, that's the bedroom. Let's go back on. Ah, uh, ooh. Then we, oh, wow, look at that. Big bathroom in here, dual vanity, and then you've got big shower uh, with a nice, with a nice niche, the tile there too. You've got a little ledge and you've got your toilet. A nice little privacy when you come in. Even though you might lock your door, you know, you never know if somebody might barge in. And then going through here, you have this bedroom. Ooh, that actually walks out to the deck. That's nice as well. And a good sized closet. Wow, pretty nicely done. I think, let me see, did I do that right? There we go, there we go again. So yeah, 324 uh, Baden, listed with our friend Kate Tomasi. She is doing offers tomorrow. So maybe you're seeing this beforehand. If you are, well, give her a call, give us a call. Uh, otherwise, oh, nice shade too. Otherwise, you know, it's Kevin Ho walking you through. Be sure to like and subscribe. We will see you at the next one. There are people here. All right, anyways, I will talk to you all later. Thank you so much, everybody. Take care.